I've got two things I'm presenting tonight. One is the alternative grill and next is how to forge the square corners. Uh, the alternative grill is just, I'm gonna call it an interlude, which is you can design your own grill in order to meet the requirements for passing uh, level 2A. To do that, you need to meet all the requirements. Uh, so I'm gonna give a caveat here. All the photos that I'm showing are from before this new curriculum was adopted. So there's some things in these photos that aren't included in the current curriculum. That said, these are the requirements if you want to design your own. You need to have a rectangular frame that has two square corners, uh, at least one with an inside radius. The inside radius is the new part to the curriculum, so none of the photos that I'm showing have that uh, inside radius. Uh, but you can see here, this is Victoria's level two grill. This is the old design before uh, the new curriculum was adopted. Um, and so this one has two square corners. The frame uh, is put together with at least two mortise and tenon joints. So you can see this one here, it's got two mortise and tenon joints. The frame is filled with at least two symmetric C or S scrolls. Okay, so what does that mean? So this one has two S scrolls. If you laid those S scrolls on top of each other, they are exactly the same. If you don't wanna use S scrolls, you can use C scrolls. That is completely acceptable. The idea here is that you're forging two dimension and that you can repeat it. You can use more than two scrolls. Uh, you can combine uh, C and S scrolls. The next requirement that the scrolls have four different finials, um, as in the original design, you can change up those finials. So for example, uh, Victoria here has put in the blown over beveled leaf, the snub end, the ribbon, and the half penny. You could mix those up as you like in your own design. You could add more scrolls. You could also have two by two symmetric finials. So for example, if you wanted to have two blown over beveled leaves here at the top and two half pennies down at the bottom, that would look pretty neat. And then you can present uh, some additional scrolls that show that you can forge those finials. Uh, the idea of the, the grill is to show that you've mastered these skills. They don't need to be in the grill to show that you've mastered that. The scrolls are collared together and connected to the frame using traditional methods. Okay, so there's two parts to this. One is that the scrolls themselves need to be collared together. The requirement for the collar is a simple collar, a simple wrapped collar. Uh, you can make it more complicated by um, doing something like this beaded collar that is not required, that does require additional tooling. You could have a, a collar with an incised design on it. The requirement is simply that the scrolls are collared together. The next part, connected to the frame using traditional methods. Okay, so the scrolls have to be somehow connected to the frame. The design doesn't really say how that um, needs to happen. So what are the traditional methods? You could do a rivet like you see here. You could do rivets in four different locations. You could do rivets in every place that the scrolls touch the frame. You could also use collars. There's no reason why you can't use more collars. You could use collars of a different design. You can also drill and tap and put in a hidden sprue. That is also a traditional method that is completely acceptable for the level two grill. Okay, this is new to the curriculum. The grill complies with the four inch pass through code. So some of the photos that I'm showing won't comply with that. Um, this is uh, you know, code for gates, be aware of that. The grill is forged to dimension of a drawing pre-approved by a level two or level three instructor. And so uh, why do we want to see the drawing in advance? Two reasons. One, we want to make sure you're meeting all the requirements. But two, the one of the requirements you're meeting is that you are forging to dimension. So we want to see that you've forged it to what you said you were going to forge it to. So we want to see that drawing first. Okay, so now I'm gonna show some samples of alternative grills that people have done in the past uh, for the California Blacksmith Association. Okay, so this is a level two grill by Angelo Brutasori up in Northern California. And he's done some neat things here. He did symmetrical uh, C scrolls here with beveled scrolls. Uh, these two are identical. And then he did larger C scrolls that had the blown over beveled leaf and the half penny. So he picked the three hardest scrolls to go in his grill. It's something else that's kind of neat here. He put two square corners. It's a little bit hard to see here, but he put two square corners on one bar, making a U shape. 
uh, and then did mortise and tenon joints at the top. So that's a little bit different. Uh, it's also harder to put two corners on one bar and get them uh, where you wanted them to go. Um, and you can see here, he's forging to dimension. So that's a pretty neat design that Angelo did. Uh, this is a level two grill by Bob Myers from Los Angeles. He did something really neat with his scrolls here. These are two matching scrolls uh, that he has put together. To me, it's like an optical illusion. It's almost like a yin yang um, where the scrolls fit together to create that circle in the middle. Uh, he's finials. He's got the ribbon scroll, the beveled half penny and the fishtail here. And he's collared these together as required. He put a pattern and he made a, a tool for uh, making the collars. So you can see the, you know, he's sample of the bar here that he's used for the collars. And then he's connected those scrolls to his frame with more collars. You can see that he made two jigs because his scrolls are two different sizes. There's a, a smaller scroll and a larger scroll. So he, he also did two jigs in order to uh, do that. He's got two square corners and then two mortise and tenon joints. Uh, you can see over here the design that he had and that he is forging to dimension here. Uh, so that's a super neat option. This is a level two grill by Gary Stanky, also from Los Angeles, and he used sea scrolls. Uh, he has four different sea scrolls. Uh, and he's used, um, he's put in two uh, examples of each of the, the four scroll styles. So he's got the ribbon scroll, the half penny, the bevel, and the fishtail. Uh, and he's collared these all together. And he's also used collars uh, with a slightly different design to collar those scrolls to his frame. He's got two square corners and the two mortise and tenon joints. So another fun example. And that's what I have on alternative grills, but I'd like to say that if you do design your own uh, grill, send me a photo and I'll add it to this presentation. If you've got an alternative grill design, send that to info at abana.org.